The Amazon rainforest occupies 2,700,000 square miles across eight South American countries. It's known as the lungs of the Earth, and it produces over 6% of the world's oxygen. It's teeming with life and is the home to millions of species. It's no wonder that it's also filled with mystery and horror. From a horned beast to human sacrifice, here are the 20 most terrifying things found in the Amazon. Number 20. The Horned Beast of Bahia As I've said, the Amazon is teeming with life, and it's a known fact that we're far from fully understanding the creatures that live within this jungle. This lack of knowledge allows cryptozoologists and conspiracy theorists to concoct stories of creatures and monsters that allegedly lurk amidst the tall trees of the Amazon. The horned beast of Bahia is just one of the many monsters that allegedly secretly reside in the Amazon. However, just like most cryptids, this photo is the only proof it exists, along with the many accounts of sightings. This picture was captured in 2007 by a 15-year-old American teenager who visited Brazil. Have you ever seen an odd humanoid-like creature flaunting an eerie skull-like face and horns sticking right out of its head like the devil himself? Some people believe this creature was a demon, while others theorized it might be something else. This peculiar creature seemed to be clutching something in its arms. Some people speculated it was either the monster's offspring or a sort of weapon. The real question is, what brought it here? And where was it headed? And more importantly, where is it now? Despite the endless debates and theories, the creature's identity remained a mystery. Some skeptics suggested it was merely a person covered in mud. But let's not forget that skull-like face and those unique horns. This picture remains an enigma that boggles minds, even years after it was taken. So what's your take on this? Number 19. The Mahamba Just like the horned beast of Bahia, the Mahamba is another monster that allegedly lurks in the jungles of the Amazon. Legend has it, Mahamba was a gigantic crocodile, but unlike any ordinary crocodile, we're talking about a creature rumored to reach lengths of up to 50 feet. To put it in perspective, that's about as long as a bowling lane. Mahamba was believed to be fiercely territorial and incredibly aggressive. The creature, which was thought to be a throwback to prehistoric times, was infamous for its monstrous elongated jaws filled with dagger-like teeth. Many believe Mahamba to be a surviving Dinosuchus a prehistoric relative of the crocodile that lived during the late Cretaceous period. In the local folklore, spine-chilling tales were told about the creature attacking unwary villagers, capsizing boats, and dragging its victims down into the murky depths. These tales of horror made even the bravest locals think twice before approaching the waterways where Mahamba was rumored to dwell. Is it really possible that such a giant reptile exists in the waters of the Amazon undetected? Only time will tell. Number 18. 81 Ancient Settlements For so long, experts believed that the settlements in the Amazon only existed near the fertile lands close to the floodplains. It made perfect sense, after all. For so long, experts thought the land far from the major waterways was untouched. And yet, recent research revealed that perhaps the Amazon was much more generous and giving than we thought, and people in the old days were tougher. An international team of researchers from the UK and Brazil scrutinized satellite images, leading to the discovery of 81 ancient settlements. The aerial reconnaissance revealed dozens of geoglyphs, enigmatic geometric earthworks that may have been sites for ritualistic ceremonies. These villages were typically located near or even within these geoglyphs. Upon closer inspection of 24 of these unearthed sites, archaeologists found a plethora of artifacts, including stone tools, ceramic fragments, refuse heaps, and terra preta, a fertile soil found in other parts of the Amazon. The experts also uncovered traces of fortifications, embedded roads, and platforms where houses once stood. With the sheer number of new settlements, there's still much to discover. Number 7. Hotzin At first glance, you'd think the Hotzin bird is something straight out of a mythical story. Just by its appearance, it's easy to see that this bird is among the most remarkable creatures in the Amazon. With a blue face, maroon eyes, and a crest of wild, spiky feathers on its head, it's hard to miss the creature in the wilderness. But its uniqueness goes beyond appearances. The Hotsin is the only bird known to have a digestive system that ferments vegetation, much like a cow's. Because of this, it gives off a manure-like odor, hence the name Stinkbird. They spend their days lounging in trees along waterways, digesting their meals of leaves, fruits, and flowers. One fascinating fact about these birds is their chicks. 
Born with claws on their wings, they use these to climb around the trees before they learn to fly. If threatened, they'll drop into the water below, swim away, then use their claws to clamber back up to the safety of the branches. The Hotsin's lineage is still a bit of a mystery, baffling scientists to this day. Some consider them living fossils as they share characteristics with primitive birds. You can say that today, these creatures are the closest things to dinos we have. Number 16. Victoria Amazonica As amazing as its name suggests, Victoria Amazonica is a massive flowering plant. It's the second largest in the water lily family, and its size earned it its nickname, the Queen of the Pond. A single leaf of this lily can grow up to 3 meters in diameter. That's nearly 10 feet across. It's so strong, it can even support the weight of a small child. It might be tempting to jump on it, but if you're an adult, you probably shouldn't try your luck. This organism is like a plant that's straight out of a fantasy novel. It flowers at night, starting as a pure white bud that opens into a large bloom. By the second night, the bloom turns a deep pink. It's believed this color change helps attract pollinators. Number 15. Monkey Cups As goofy as its name is, this plant is among the most horrifying in the Amazon. Well, perhaps not as horrifying for humans as small animals. Scientifically, this plant is known as Nepenthes. So why are they called monkey cups? Well, it's because monkeys have been seen drinking rainwater from them. But as I've said, these plants have quite a dark side. They might look like cups, but just like the famous Venus flytrap, this plant eats meat. You see, each of the plant's leaves ends in a pitcher-like structure filled with a sweet, sticky nectar. When an unsuspecting insect gets lured in by the nectar's scent, it slips on the pitcher's waxy rim and falls into the liquid inside. This isn't just any liquid, though. It's a potent digestive soup that slowly dissolves the unfortunate bug. Over time, the plant absorbs the nutrients from this bug soup, using it as a supplement to the poor soil it often grows in. But it doesn't stop at insects. Larger species of Nepenthes have been known to catch and digest bigger prey, like mice and even small birds. So imagine walking through the rainforest and spotting a plant munching on a mouse. Terrifying, right? Number 14. Cutting Using Piranha You've probably seen these critters in B-movie horror flicks, depicted as ferocious human-eating monsters. But here's the real deal. While piranhas definitely have a notorious reputation, they're actually not the man-eating beasts Hollywood makes them out to be. Now that doesn't mean they're friendly either. The thing about piranhas that truly gives people the creeps is those teeth. They've got a set of chompers that would make any dentist shudder. Each tooth is razor sharp and perfectly designed to tear through flesh with incredible ease. When they're not feasting on other fish or the occasional unlucky mammal that falls into the water, they're gnawing at plant material. So they're omnivores, not strictly carnivores as often believed. Fun fact, their teeth are so impressive that indigenous people have been known to use them as tools for cutting wood or carving objects. Just take a look at this guy using a piranha as a scissor. Despite their teeth and notorious reputation, piranhas are actually quite skittish. They tend to be more scavengers than predators. In fact, most reported attacks on humans occur when piranhas are stressed, such as during the dry season when food is scarce or when they're trapped in shallow pools. So next time you see piranhas in a thriller movie, remember, they're not as terrifying as they're portrayed. But those teeth? They're definitely something to respect. Number 13. Leaf Katie Did If you get uncomfortable whenever you get close to insects, then you might want to stay away from the Amazon. After all, this insect is easy to miss. At first glance, you might mistake these insects for a fallen leaf, and that's precisely what they want. They're one of nature's greatest illusionists mimicking leaves right down to the fine details. They've got the veins, the leaf-like wings, and even the brown spots and imperfections you'd see on a real leaf. It's not just a passing resemblance. These guys could win awards for their dedication to the art of deception. Through the process of natural selection, leaf katydids gradually evolved and adapted to resemble leaves more effectively, enhancing their survival and reproductive success in their natural habitat. As a result, they developed the remarkable ability to mimic leaves with incredible precision. But why go through all that trouble? Well, when you're a tasty morsel in a jungle full of hungry predators, being great at concealing yourself can save your life. It's their own survival strategy. By looking like a leaf, they can hide in plain sight and avoid becoming someone else's lunch. Number 12. Giant Anaconda 
Anacondas, particularly green anacondas, are snakes that are actually capable of consuming humans, although such cases are incredibly rare. With that being said, you may already know that the green anaconda is the largest snake in the world by weight, and it can reach lengths of up to 30 feet. However, there are rumors and legends suggesting that there are anacondas out there that are far bigger. There are claims that anacondas can grow up to a staggering length of 50 feet or more, a massive beast capable of taking down an adult human. These tales are often backed up by blurry photos or eyewitness accounts, but to date, there's no definitive proof that these monster snakes exist. Still, it's a chilling thought. Could there be giant anacondas lurking undiscovered in the depths of the Amazon? One of the most popular stories surrounding giant snakes in the Amazon is the story of the Yakumama. Locally, it means the mother of the water. The Yakumama is said to be a gargantuan serpent up to 160 feet long that resides in the waterways. According to folklore, it's capable of sucking up any creature that strays too close like some kind of aquatic black hole. As with a giant anaconda, there's no concrete scientific evidence for the Yakumama. But then, the Amazon is one of the least explored places on Earth, and new species are constantly being discovered. Who knows what could be hiding beneath the surface of those murky waters? Number 11. Lizard Walking on Water This reptile is so extraordinary that it earned the nickname Jesus Lizard. Found in Central and South America and a favorite in the tropical rainforests, the Jesus Lizard, scientifically known as the Basilisk, is a sight to behold. With a quick burst of energy, it stands tall on its hind legs and sprints across the water's surface. And by water, I'm talking rivers, ponds, lagoons, you name it. The Jesus Lizard's long toes on its rear feet have fringes of skin that unfurl in the water, increasing surface area and providing lift. A series of rapid-fire high-stepping strides helps it overcome gravity before it eventually sinks and resorts to swimming. While this water-walking skill is most commonly seen in young, lighter basilisks, some adults can manage a few meters before sinking. It's no wonder they got their nickname from the biblical miracle of Jesus Christ walking on water. Number 10. The Boiling River Imagine a river so hot, it literally boils. It sounds like something straight out of a fantasy book, right? But it's very real. Nestled deep within the Peruvian Amazon, there's a four-mile stretch of the Chine Tempishka River that's hot enough to cook anything unfortunate enough to fall in. We're talking about temperatures that can reach up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to cause third-degree burns in seconds. It's not a place you'd want to go for a casual dip. The river was brought to the world's attention by geophysicist Andreas Russo, who had heard stories about it from his grandfather. Initially, he thought it was just a legend because large-scale thermal rivers are typically associated with volcanoes. But guess what? There are no active volcanoes in the vicinity of the boiling river. So what's making the river boil? Well, it turns out the heat comes from the water in the river seeping deep into the earth, where it's heated by the geothermal energy of the planet's interior. The water then rises again through faults and cracks in the earth's crust, which leads to the formation of hot thermal springs feeding the river. Now remember Yakumama, the giant serpent? Indigenous people in the Amazon believe that the boiling river is their home, an extreme home for an extremely unbelievable creature. Number 9. The Billy Ape The story of the Billy Ape begins deep within the forests of the Democratic Republic of Congo. In the late 1990s, rumors began to circulate about a population of giant apes unlike anything ever seen before. These beasts were said to be up to six feet tall, walking upright like humans and displaying other behaviors unheard of in known ape species. For years, these tales were dismissed as nothing more than local folklore. That was until in 2001, a team of researchers embarked on a journey to the heart of the Congo in search of these elusive creatures. What they found was truly remarkable. Large ground nests were discovered, hinting at the presence of an oversized ape species. And then, finally, they found the apes themselves an uncategorized group of chimps of considerable size. This was the first solid evidence of the billy apes. What's more, the billy apes didn't behave like other chimps. They were found to be primarily terrestrial, spending a significant amount of time on the ground rather than in trees, which is unusual for chimps. Their diet and nesting habits were also found to be unique. Yet despite these unusual behaviors and their larger size, genetic analysis has confirmed that the billy apes are not a new species. They're simply a unique population of the common chimpanzee. 
but how they came to be so different from their cousins remains a mystery. Number 8. Kurupira The Kurupira is one of the most terrifying cryptids that allegedly reside in the Amazon. The Kurupira is often described as a dwarf-like creature with bright red or orange hair, and its most distinguishing characteristic is that its feet are turned backwards. One of the most important features of this creature. This bizarre feature makes its tracks nearly impossible to follow, since they always lead trackers in the wrong direction as they leave backward tracks with their feet. But the Kurupira isn't just a mischievous trickster. According to local folklore, it's also a fierce protector of the forest and its creatures. It's said to use its cunning and deceptive footprints to lead hunters and poachers astray, sometimes even driving them to madness. Number 7. Mapinguari Often called the Bigfoot of the Amazon, the Mapinguari is an intriguing figure steeped in South American folklore. Legend describes it as a towering beast, standing up to nine feet tall, with a thick shaggy coat of fur, similar to the ground sloth, which went extinct thousands of years ago. Some accounts describe it as having the face of a monkey and the body of a giant anteater. Others suggest it only has a single eye and a second mouth on its belly. But despite these varying depictions, all stories agree on one thing. The Mapinguari is not a creature you'd want to stumble upon in the Amazon rainforest. This creature was said to have a terrifying roar that can shake the very trees of the forest, and its presence is often associated with a foul smell that is said to be strong enough to make humans pass out. But perhaps the most chilling aspect of the Mapinguari is its alleged invulnerability. Legend has it that it can deflect arrows and bullets, making it an unstoppable force within its jungle domain. Number 6. Electric Eel Discovered recently in the Amazon, a particular species of electric eel is generating quite a buzz, literally and figuratively. Imagine a creature capable of delivering a jolt of electricity that tops out in an astounding 860 volts. That's more power than a standard wall socket here in the United States. This makes the Electrophorus Volti the most potent bioelectricity generator known to science. This electric eel, which can grow up to 8 feet long, uses its shocking power to stun prey and dissuade predators. The electricity this creature emits is enough to shock a human and cause a person to drown. You can say that this creature is quite lethal. If it could do this to a human, just imagine how helpless smaller animals are to this creature. Number 5. Macaw Clay Lick now, seeing birds licking clay is definitely a bizarre sight, but the Chuncho Macaw Clay Lick has earned its reputation as one of the Amazon's best birdwatching destinations for this exact reason. In the Amazon, the chief soil, rich in nutrients, possibly salt, tempts various bird species. From the massive red and green macaws to the robust mealy parrots, these avian creatures flock here to feast on the mineral-laden clay. Now, it's definitely amazing to see birds in a big huddle by the hundreds. Now you're probably wondering why exactly these birds do it. Initially, experts believe that birds consume clay to try and remove toxins such as naturally occurring tannins. Whenever macaws consume clay, it helps them neutralize toxin in their bodies. In fact, you might be surprised to know that some humans also eat or drink clay to control gastrointestinal or stomach problems. However, other studies suggest another theory. Some claim that the clay helps birds control nutrition deficiency. Experts believe these birds lick the reddish-brown clay to aid their sodium-poor diet. We still have much to learn about the truth behind these birds. But macaws, even without their clay-licking diet alone, are amazing. You see, these creatures can mimic human speech, solve complex puzzles, and are known for their social nature. They form strong, lifelong bonds with their partners, displaying a level of loyalty that's quite remarkable. Macaws also have an integral role in their ecosystem. They're seed dispersers, meaning they play a vital part in maintaining the health and diversity of the jungle. By consuming fruits, nuts, and seeds, then flying over vast distances before excreting them, they help spread plant life across the Amazon. That's a pretty important job if you ask me. Number 4. Giant Otter The giant otter, often referred to as the river wolf, is one of the Amazon's top predators, and for a good reason. They can grow up to 6 feet long, making them the world's largest otter species. But don't let their cute whiskered faces and playful antics fool you. These creatures are seriously skilled hunters. Just think of these guys like your house cats. They might look cuddly, but like a flick of a switch, they can easily turn into ruthless predators. 
These seemingly cuddly creatures can and do take down smaller caimans. Caimans, a type of crocodilian, are no easy prey, mind you. They're armored with thick scales and armed with razor-sharp teeth. But the giant otter, with its strong jaws, sharp claws, and agile body is more than a match for them. These creatures hunt in family groups, and they take advantage of their numbers. They encircle and confuse the caiman, wearing it down before moving in for the kill. Number 3. The Titanosaur More than 83 million years ago, from the late Santonian to the early Campanian age of the Upper Cretaceous epoch, amazing creatures roamed the Earth, including the Titanosaur. Recently, a small type of Titanosaur was discovered in the jungle of the Amazon. It's known as Ibiranya parva. Ibiranya parva was relatively small for a dinosaur, with an estimated body length of just under 19 feet. And what's truly fascinating is that it was a member of the Titanosauria, a hugely diverse group of long-necked sauropod dinosaurs known for their imposing sizes. These Titanosaurians were the planet's most common large-bodied plant eaters in the late Cretaceous epoch, particularly dominant across the southern continents. But here's where it gets really interesting. Despite being part of a group known for their gigantic sizes, Ibaranya parva belonged to a unique subset known as the Saltasaurinae, a family of titanosaurian dinosaurs that were actually relatively small in comparison. It's a beautiful contradiction, isn't it? At least four specimens of this smaller titanosaur were found in the northeastern Sao Paulo state in Brazil. Paleontologists suspect that the dwarfism seen in Ibaranya parva could have been a survival adaptation to the environmental stress of the formation known for its long dry periods. Experts believe more dinosaurs are hiding in the Amazon, and with each fossil we discover, the more we'll learn about the majestic predators that roam planet Earth. Number 2. The Kangaroo Fish Have you heard about the dangerous fish in the Amazon? You know, the creature that everyone fears? They're the reason why many advise people not to take a dip in unknown waters in the Amazon jungle. The Kangaroo also known as the vampire fish, is a small, scaleless, parasitic catfish native to the Amazon. There are rumors that this fish has a penchant for swimming up the human urethra, attracted by the scent of urine. Scientifically, there's very little evidence to support these stories. The few documented cases that exist are often disputed due to a lack of verifiable evidence. Most scientists believe the threat the kangaroo poses to humans is vastly overstated. Even so, you can never be too careful when exploring the jungle. In truth, the kangaroo, like many other creatures in the Amazon, is adapted to a very specific ecological niche. It's a parasite that primarily targets larger fish, attaching to gills and feeding on blood, hence the nickname vampire fish. It uses a sensor to detect the nitrogenous waste that fish emit through their gills, so it's not attracted to human urine. Even so, you can never really be too careful. Just make sure not to wade in unknown waters when you're out in the wilderness. And now it's time for today's topic. There have been quite a lot of rumors surrounding the Amazon. It's only natural, considering some parts of its vast expanse haven't been thoroughly explored. Among these rumors are alien sightings. A group of lost explorers released a photo. They recorded it in the Amazon jungle, and nobody can believe it. Locals living near the Amazon have long reported seeing strange lights and objects in the sky, along with accounts of odd injuries sustained by those who got too close. Then there are the accounts from the locals, passed down through generations of beings from the stars visiting Earth, strange creatures that don't fit the typical jungle fauna. This creature is allegedly one of the many aliens that have secretly stepped foot on our planet. However, Skeptics remain adamant that this picture is nothing but a doctored piece of evidence. Number 1. Human and Animal Sacrifice In 2018, researchers found a chilling discovery in the Amazon, evidence of human sacrifice. Not just any piece of evidence, but the most significant known event of mass child sacrifice in the history of the Americas, potentially the world. Over 140 children and about 200 young llamas seem to have met a ritualistic end about 550 years ago. The macabre event occurred on a windswept bluff overlooking the Pacific Ocean, right near what was once the bustling capital of the Chimo Empire. Now, we have records of human sacrifices being performed by civilizations like the Aztecs, Maya, and Incas. However, uncovering an event of child sacrifice on this scale tied to the lesser-known Chimo civilization is a recent discovery. At their height, 
The Chimo Empire held sway over a territory that stretched 600 miles along the Pacific coast and into the interior valleys, from what's now the Peru-Ecuador border down to Lima. They were second only to the Inca in terms of the size of their empire in pre-Columbian South America until the superior Inca forces brought about their downfall around 1475 AD. Disturbing evidence from the skeletal remains of the children and animals shows signs of sternum cuts and dislocated ribs. These suggest that the victims' chests were possibly opened in a specific way, perhaps to make heart extraction easier. The remains had signs of trauma to the head and lacked the typical grave goods, leading researchers to think that they might have participated in the sacrificial event and were killed soon after. Evidence of cranial modification was also observed in the remains, and each and every injury discovered in the bodies is a piece of a puzzle that might show us the entire picture of one of the civilizations that thrived in the Amazon jungle a long time ago. The Amazon jungle is quite mysterious, huh? Which of these discoveries intrigued you the most? Let me know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.